So hello, welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin. Thank you for tuning in to another fantastic video here in, well, sort of sunny Tenerife. It's night time, it's dark. Okay, so I'll do a quick video uh, just to tell you what I've been up to today and uh, also uh, just answer a couple of questions. Well, one, one question in particular that I've had from a, a new subscriber. So first of all, uh, I'll do a quick pan round. Okay, so I am on at Playa Les Vistas which is uh, Vistas Beach, which uh, stretches from Playa de las Americas on my right there, all the way along, probably about a quarter of a mile long over to the beautiful port of Los Cristianos. In between there, you can just see lights of uh, a strip called San Salmo Strip, which is a sort of mix of eclectic, uh, sort of Spanish style restaurants, uh, bars, and there's some uh, burger bars, and there's a couple of curry houses. Great little area to visit. And then behind me here is the Torres del Sol complex, you just see it behind the trees visible in the day big iconic landmark as you come into land uh, two big yellow high-rise blocks of flats some residential some uh, holiday apartments and then you've got a little strip of restaurants here sun king chuckies uh pier eight and there's a mcdonald's tucked in there as well all very busy right okay so that's where i am the temperature tonight according to my finger there it is and the finger on the phone bear in mind it's near the end of november and it's about 10 p.m it is an amazing 24 degrees that's not bad is it been cloudy all day um but i'll tell you more about that in a minute but it did uh, sort of clear up early evening and there was a beautiful sunset so it's all good here in tenerife so first of all i want to say a big welcome and a big thank you to the new subscribers who've come on board since i landed uh, yesterday in tenerife uh, i do normally get a little spike in numbers uh, people love seeing Tenerife, so big thanks for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. Uh, today, this is the first actual video I've done today um, because the point of me coming over to Tenerife this week was to take part in a sponsor uh, sort of charity fundraising walk for a charity called Fight Against Cancer in Tenerife, and that started this morning over in Los Cristianos. Um, main organizers a couple of youtubers uh tim from a channel called living with a mess in tenerife tim dowd and uh, webby on webby sports roundup i'll put their links down below along with a link to the charity um they organized it superbly there was guys from uh, fact fighting against cancer in tenerife there as well and uh, pleased to say we raised a what well over 1000 euro on the walk that was through collections and uh, a couple of little raffles and things at the end so uh big thanks and uh well done to everybody involved so that's why today i've not been out filming uh i sort of set today aside purely for that so there's the torres del sol complex as you come into land if you look left down there just before you land at tenerife south airport you'll see them two big high rise yellow blocks of flats okay so uh yeah so that was today um i've done a couple of videos uh, which i'll be uh, uploading and you'll see them over the next day or two so all good stuff <coughs> excuse me while i cough so yeah, as i say a big welcome to everybody who's joined the channel and a big thanks to everybody who's been with me from day one and along the way hope we're all having fun right so uh i was asked by i think a new subscriber if they could uh if they asked quite nicely if i could show them how to get to uh the patch and la paz music bars from uh, los cristianos okay now not sure if they know, I can't remember who it was, but the Patch and La Paz are two different places. I've covered this in previous vlogs. Uh, if you go back, uh, you'll see uh, that where we're going now is La Paz, Park La Paz, and the Patch is just slightly further on. Uh, so it's two separate uh, areas. This one, I'll do a quick walk through because it's a little bit lively and there's plenty to show you. So coming from this, Los Cristianos, if you walk along the beach behind us where we've just come from keeping the sea on your left you'll eventually come to this which in the daytime is like an orangey pink color it's vista sur shopping center all you need to do walk up this path and you come onto here what's called the golden mile <coughs> okay so uh, this is playa de las americas golden mile because as you can see at night all nice and lit up so what we'll do uh, i'll show you where the uh la paz park la paz music bars are and we'll have a look what's going on 
because it's different every night down there. It's one of my favourite parts of uh, the resort. So, Upper Orwell, got a couple of shout outs uh, to do. Uh, people I've met today been absolutely fantastic. I want to say hello to Fran from uh, Fight Against Cancer in Tenerife, Fran Somerville. Lovely meeting you, Fran. And uh, also uh, Marie and Carl Alty, uh, absolutely fantastic couple, long time watchers, the supporters of all the uh, channels uh, that sort of revolve around Tenerife. Marie's got her own channel as well, I'll put a link down below to that. And uh, a big shout out, he's not here with them on this trip, but to their son Matty. Uh, Marie was telling me all about him, and uh, big shout out to you, Matty. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. Next time I do a live, I'll drop, I'll name drop you on that as well, mate, and I hope to meet you one day. Okay, so uh, to the right, you've got a few design shops, look. I'm not a shopper, but you know, you've got Zara, Sunglass, Hut. And then to the left, that hotel is called Compostela Beach. There's two Compostela hotels in Las Americas. Don't get them mixed up. If you want to be down here by the beach, buy all these shops and bars in the action, it's Compostela Beach that you need to book. The other one is slightly out of town. It's called Compostela Golf, and it's about a mile or so out of town, a little bit quieter, about a 10, 15 minute walk into town. So if you want to be in town, Compostela Beach, because it's by the beach, there you go. Right, okay, we'll get a shift on and uh, we'll have a gander around the music bars. <laughs> Drop a comment down below. I know a lot of my regular viewers will know this area very well, so I'm doing it for the benefit of those who've just joined and uh, aren't too uh, familiar with the area. Now, I know it's at night, and you might say, oh, what's it like in the day? I'm showing you at night because that's when these music bars are open. During the day, there's only one or two of them that open, whereas at night time, they're all thriving, a bit noisy, but you can see what goes on and you'll get a better idea. And of course, the route to them doesn't change day or night. <laughs> uh, up there, you've got Vegas Grill. Big steakhouse, very popular. And over to the left, you've got the Mare Nostrum Resort, which is currently undergoing refurbishments, starting to look very smart but still all boarded off and uh, fenced off. So looking at it, not far away from completion. Used to be a big blue and white circular place. And there's the moon. And down that way is the beach. All right, so to get to uh, Park La Paz Music Bars, some people call it just the music bars. Some people call it La Paz Strip. But as I say, it does get mixed up by name with the patch this is not the patch the patch if you go down my videos you can see where the patch is that's uh, about another 10 minute walk on which is a totally different area okay the park la paz bit comes in uh, because behind it there is a hotel called park la paz hotel and just opposite there, a little bit dark, but there is Park La Paz, which is like a little sort of woodland area. <coughs> now, I'm not one for shouting and talking on my videos, but I'm gonna have to, purely because of YouTube uh, rules and regulations. They do tend to shout at you if you play copyrighted music. So that might happen along here. I'll try and keep it at a minimum, just so you can get a sort of uh, taste of what's going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk, if you look down the bottom there, that's where the end of the strip is. We'll walk down that way, and then what I'll do, I'll scoot right through the front of the bars, just so you can see how busy and what goes on in each one. Okay, so first one you come to, Coconut Joe's Pub and Restaurant, live singer on. All these bars, are, most of them are open till midnight. There's one or two that go beyond that till 1am or 2am. Frankie's Bar, that is now closed down. Uh, I've been reliably informed by another YouTuber called Kevin Scotsman in Tenerife that Susie, the, uh, the ex-owner of Frankie's, has now uh, 
she now uh, works over in Los Cristianos at a bar called Happy Days, and I think it's at weekends. So uh, Frank is is no longer, unfortunately. Then we've got the Bull's Head, which is a rock bar. Live band on in there seven nights a week. And I think that's open till 1 a.m. I may be wrong, it may be midnight, don't quote me on that. Okay, to get access to these bars, there are little walkways along or you can enter either side. There's Golden House Chinese, right smack bang in the middle. Okay, and then next along there is the Hole in the Wall, Irish Music Pub. And uh, if I zoom in, you can see appearing tonight, I believe he's the owner. <laughs> well, I know he's the owner. Fergal Flackerty, in my opinion, one of the uh, island's best musicians and a great guy. I'll be popping in there to have a beer later. That is Hole in the Wall, Irish Music Pub. Again, open seven nights a week. Fergal's on most nights uh, and he has a couple of other people supporting as well when he's off. So there's a bit of variation. Hello, mate. Mustafa. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop filming for a minute because I've just seen an old mate of mine. It won't be a second. Right, okay. Uh, I had to stop filming it because I've just bumped into a good, good friend of mine from way back when. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll introduce you. If you're in Parc La Paz and you're after a watch your jewellery, this is your man to see. Two, one. Mr. Loba Loba, I don't give a monkeys. I'm Mustafa, man. Shaba! Lovely to play. This is Mustafa, a great friend of mine. You've been here how many years, mate? Fucking hell, more than 25 years. You can't swear. We'll start that again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> He's been here a long time. And uh, you also work over in Ibiza working now as well. In, in, everywhere, working in the bar, in the restaurant, everywhere, you know. Yeah. I am always around. Yeah, yeah. And I don't give a monkey. He don't give a monkey. It's a lover, lover. And he's a good singer as well. As well. <laughs> two time, same to fate. Yeah. <laughs> but the morning line, lingers on. I've known this guy for all oh, seven or eight years. Yeah. He he sold me a Tagger watch three years ago, and despite what people think, I can show it when I get back to the UK. It still works fine. And it's a beautiful watch. I am the man with the watch. You're the man Lifetime for the watches. Lifetime guarantee. Gar <laughs> Good to see you, Mustafa. Good to see you. Mike. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. <laughs> there we go. So uh, that was a bit of a surprise, Mustafa. I haven't seen him. He moved over to Ibiza. I haven't seen him for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. I have got the coughs tonight. Right. Okay. So uh, where was I? Hole in the wall. Irish music bar. And then here. Next one along, we've got the Soul Suite. Zooming in there tonight. Another chat of a YouTube channel. That's Michael Levy Jr. performing tonight. Fantastic soul singer. Soul, Motown, all that sort of stuff in there. Again, seven nights a week. Let's move on. Okay, and then we've got the Peking Garden, another Chinese restaurant. Okay, and then this bar, I will give a special mention to this bar. This is the Highlander. Um, this is one of the only bars on the strip that is open all day. This one's open during the daytime and there's seating outside. They're giving us a wave there, look. Okay, the reason I'm mentioning the Highlander is because today on uh, the Fact uh, Cancer Sp Sponsored Walk, uh, we popped in here, it was a little pit stop, and they looked after us, served us free sandwiches. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'll give them a shout out. Okay, the next along, Highland Paddy. There's several of these on the island. This is a Las Americas Highland Paddy. Cabaret acts on seven nights a week. Looks like they have two acts on a night and they do karaoke. And I think this one opens till 2 a.m. One of the later ones. Do apologize if I'm shouting. Then the last but one is the Brahms and List Cabaret Bar. There's a the resident compare Dion. Just about to see him on stage singing a bit of Neil Diamond. And they have various acts on tonight. They've got Soul Stream, 
which is uh, obviously a soul band, Motown. <laughs> and then your last bar is the corner bar. So called because it's on the corner. There's a good shot of the hotel, Park La Paz Hotel behind it. And uh, this one, a little bit quieter than the others tonight, um, but they do have cabaret on seven nights a week. Uh, for fans of uh, the Tenerife YouTubers, this is the one bar on the strip where you'll see Shelly uh, from Rick and Shelly, another YouTuber. She appears here, I believe it's a Monday night. Don't quote me on that, check the, uh, there's an app called ABC, which you can download and that shows you who's on in what bars each night of the week. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick scoot through the walkway. So we'll go from this end to end. You won't hardly hear what I'm saying. You'll just hear the noise from each bar and uh, we'll see what we're gonna see. So I'll see you at the other end. So first, there's the corner bar. They got bronze and list. There you go, singing a bit of Neil Diamond. Then we've got the Highland Paddy. We've got a singer on tonight. Okay, then we've got the Highlander. Highlanders tend not to do entertainment, but always a busy bar. Peking Garden Chinese. Right, I'll get a noise again. Here's another friend of mine, Lenny Henry. Here's your man for the bags. Hiya, Lenny. I'll finish the in five minutes. There's the Soul Suite. Mike Levy Jr. There's Mike Levy Jr. giving us a wave. We caught, we caught Mike Levy Jr. mid-song. <laughs> Forever the professional, he carried on. Then we've got Fergal in the hole in the wall. I'll give you a... Great little bar. Cracking atmosphere. Vehicles doing his thing. There we've got the Golden House Chinese. These do takeaways as well, guys, and delivery to hotels. Okay, couple more to go. Bull's head. He's a YouTube star. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> How are we? Oh yeah, you all right? How are we? Sorry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's me. Pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. I'll come see you in a minute. There's uh, full set. Oh, a little bit quieter and um, there's uh, Frankie's bar which is closed then you find a bar coconut joe's and the last bar there is coconut joe's and that <laughs> i hope that wasn't too noisy for you that is la paz park la paz at music bars music strip known by many names and uh, great atmosphere tonight is a tuesday night <coughs> but as with most areas of tenerife a tuesday night is like a saturday night is like a monday night great atmosphere and uh, as i say they're all open till midnight and beyond there we go so i uh, hope that was a bit of an education bumped into a couple of old friends okay guys there we go that is la paz uh, park la paz music strip it is known or referred to as music bars La Paz Bars, La Paz Strip, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> okay? Great atmosphere, seven nights a week, great variety of music on there. You can literally go from pub to pub and get something different every single night. Tonight, not the busiest of seeing it, but not the quietest. 
it is a Tuesday night it's slightly out of season uh, so it will get busier especially sort of over Christmas and New Year uh, so uh, if you're in Tenerife pay it a visit all the bars are free entry and they're open till midnight and beyond uh, it was a nice walk through there I hope it wasn't too noisy for you caught up with a couple of our mates uh, Mustafa who sells the watches uh, he's one of the watch sellers who's been here many many years great guy and the other guy with the handbags Lenny Henry they call him again he's been here many years as well and uh, you know tell them I sent you they'll look after you uh, and then we saw Fergal doing his thing in the Irish bar and Mike Levy Jr. who's got a YouTube channel as well uh, doing the soul thing as well so uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below if you've been in uh, the music bars for a night out or if you're thinking of doing it drop me a comment down below so listen hope you enjoyed that thanks very much for watching uh, give it a thumbs up if you've not subscribed yet subscribe because it's free uh, I'm here for another couple of days and I'll be putting loads more Tenerife videos up including by popular demand i will be doing a veronica's strip late night walk as well uh, so hold on to your hats <laughs> okay thanks everybody and i'll see you in the next video take it easy Mr. Loba Loba, I don't give a monkeys. I'm Mustafa man. Shaba! Lovely to play. Booyakasha!